So hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the opacity widget. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll delete the boilerplate and we can delete the constructor and we can delete the increment method and everything inside the widget. So opacity, it allows us to make the child, um, well, less opaque or more opaque depending on the value we set. So we can go ahead and create our app. Uh, we'll give it a title of text. And center title. So we'll first of all return a stack for our body in the center. And this will be using some of the code from last time, so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that in. So here we are, and I've pasted it in, so this is just a clip RX with an image as its child, and we also have a text description. So we can go ahead and wrap our clip RX with a opacity widget. And we're getting a yellow underline because we need to add the opacity um, parameter. And we can set this to any number ranging between 0.0, .0 and 1. And this will essentially just um, allow us to change the opacity. So we'll just set it to 0.7, save, and let's run this. So our app has opened up and we've got this, but we'd like to move it to the center so we can go ahead and change the alignment in the stack to alignment dot bottom center. So now that we've done that, I've gone ahead and edited the code and we have made it an animated opacity. So some things have changed. First of all, we've got a um, opacity variable which is a double and it'll start off initially as 1.0 and that's what we'll set for the opacity in our animated opacity so we can animate a transition to it when the um, button is pressed and it'll just be a five second duration. Now if we go over to our floating action button we've got a little icon for the child which is an animation and when we press it we'll set say, the opacity to 0.5 which will trigger the animated opacity to change the opacity of the image. So if we come over here and restart that, uh, we will see that the image is now um, fully opaque. But once we press the button, it will start to become um, less opaque and see here. Uh, so yeah, so that is all you need to do to change your opacity into an animated opacity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.